This is Grilled by The Staff Canteen and I'm Cara Houchin, the editor of The Staff Canteen. Uh, this episode is in association with Essential Cuisine and uh, we find out what's on the menu at the Oak Room at Adair Manor. Our deputy editor, Tani Dawn Hiscox, talks to head chef Mike Tweedy about ingredients and the inspiration behind his menu design. Hi everyone, today we're talking to Mike Tweedy. Mike Tweedy is originally from Devon and he is the head chef at the Oak Room at Adair Manor in Ireland. In his time, Mike has worked at One Mission starred Luckdon Park in Bath alongside Howell Jones, and he's worked at Gidley Park for Chef Michael Keynes. In this episode of On the Menu, we're going to talk to Mike about the seasonal produce on his menu, cooking techniques he likes to use, and his approach to menu design. Hello, Mike. Hey, how are we? <laughs> Not bad. So, if you were to pick three ingredients that are in season right now, what would those be and why? Uh, so, for me... Like, if we take our menu that we have on the moment, we would, yeah. choose, we'd choose, obviously, buttermilk, um, because it's, you know, it's Irish, so buttermilk would be one of them. It's an all-year-round product. Uh, Dexter beef from uh, Tipperary, and then some raspberry, some drolls, you know, those would be the, the top ingredients I'd be using at the moment. And what dishes would you create with each of those ingredients? Uh, so, for the Dexter beef, what we do is we take, we use the fillet. At the moment, we serve, uh, so what we do is we cook the fillet, we bath the fillet, um, cook it in aged beef fat, and then what we do is we serve a braised oxtail, boudin, uh, and then some peas, gerols, um, and some raw beans, uh, very seasonal at the moment, so, and a bit of smoked bone marrow as well. And then with the buttermilk pudding, we, we, we do a buttermilk pudding for pre dessert. Um, we, we just very lightly thin it. We put a raspberry jelly, which we make from uh, raspberry wine, wine from Wicklow. Um, and then we do some frozen raspberries and a like, little simple oat crumble. And would you say that using seasonal produce is important to you? Oh, yeah, of course. It's, 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 it's always important to use seasonal and, and local as, as, as much as you can. You know, it's, you know, you have to get back to the community and you have to support the local people. And, yeah, it's so important, you know. Yeah, for a chef, it's one of the most important things. Um, can you talk us a little bit through your menu design process? So how do you come up with ideas? How long does it take you to develop a dish before putting it on the menu? Um, so there's, there's some things. So the open we do, we have we have very classic in what we do. We have a 5x5 five five a la carte. We have a market menu, which is a tasting menu. But um, in terms of dish development, we... We just work with the lo- like as much local people as we can. We look at the markets, what's available. Um, most of the time, the protein doesn't really change. Like the Tipperary quail has always been on the menu. Um, the Dexter beef has always been on the menu. Uh, we may change it for venison in, in the winter. Um, and then the Galway goat cheese has always been on the menu since day one. So I mean, we just we try and change the protein. Uh, we try we try and change the garnishes, not the protein. Yeah. Uh, and most things work with. You know, you know, beef works with peas or it works with mushrooms. And it's just knowing them classic flavours, really. Yeah. And when you do put a new dish on the menu, is that, you know, do you wait until you feel that it's perfect and exactly how you want it before you put it on the menu? Or is it something that you tweak and update a little bit as you go along? Um, I find that when I put a dish on the menu, it's better that I sort of, if I think about it, if I think about it too much, I can over come here. Whereas if I just do it, it's easier just to do it. And then we can go back and, you know, a dish might come on again next year, like the scallops with satay sauce. It comes back and then we look at it and go, okay, what can we do to improve it? You know, do we add something? Do we take something away? And we just, we try and strip everything back as much as we can. So it's just sort of the raw ingredients. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just, I guess it's just a lot of luck, really. And as of right now, would what would you pick out as your favourite um, your favourite dish on your menu at the moment? Um, favourite dish on the menu at the moment would probably be, uh, I mean, the Wexford strawberries. It's a take on strawberries and cream. That's, yeah. You know, that's one of my favourite ones. Um, the lemon tart, I don't think you can go wrong with a good lemon tart uh, when it's done right. Um, main course wise, we we have you know a cod, we just just slightly salted with roast uh, and lots of butter, and we just serve it with a classic braised sauce with some scallops and extra more caviar. So 
that's probably I, I like to eat simple food and like to like cook simple food. So um, the dishes that have the less on them are probably my favourite. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mike. That was very enlightening. Thank you very much, Jim. Cheers. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this interview, and if you have any comments feel free to tweet us or comment on the post Uh, we're making all of our interviews available to download in the next episode we talk to paul newbigin founder of the past podcast he's hanging up his mic at the end of the year and we wanted to know why finally if you like what we do please head over to our patreon page and support us there 